Okay, my wonderful friends, Roger Sperm at Fossil University, and I have been criticized heavily for my speech on light and how it can accelerate and slow down and its particles, and we can see the muons and the electrons and all of these interactions. And I've been told it's just impossible, and a cell phone cannot do this because it's done with a cell phone. Now I'm going to show you why I say it is possible and uh, they just don't understand the technique that Rob used to do this and he didn't do it from a long distance he did it right like right right on the face of it Boop. and what happens is there's CMOS and there's CCD let's let's just talk about the technology and that's how these shots were able to be seen Okay, my friends, my name is Roger Spur, and I claim to that there is a new atomic model called electron flood model, which I developed, which says there is nothing more than electrons, and they create photons. Photons are back-to-back -back electrons, and I claim we photographed them. And they say, oh, you're crazy. You can't photograph a photon. I said, whoa, 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 wait a minute. Maybe we can. This is a semi-recent new discoveries in cell biology because new technology make previously invisible phenomena visible camera technology well cameras and what cell phones literally cell phone cameras now and that's what we use to do our research and ccd is charged couple devices they they were driven by to make things smaller and smaller, and then they ended up using silicon. Well, what is silicon? You know everything is based on silicon chips. Oh, yeah, Silicon Valley, Silicon... Well, why? Why? Why is it all that stuff? You know why? Because CCDs, which are charged couple devices, they're built on silicon. They interact... Uh, they interact its excellent photon absorption properties at visible wavelengths. Excellent photon absorption properties. Well, when they absorb it, what do they do? They turn it into an electrical signal. That's what makes our pictures. All right, so now we got the silicon. It's a charged couple device, integrated circuit, X on a silicon chip, and in the camera, he puts it right on the right on the source of light so he's picking up each one of these little photons and the photons generate a charge it can be read by the electronics turned into a digital copy of the light patterns falling on a device it's as simple as that so it's not really we're we're picking up the picture of the 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 photon we're picking up the impact of the photon turn it into electrical power because that's all it is push to shove the harder I hit that the more energy I impact the more energy the more electrical signal a absolutely no question that's what it is now we take that signal and we go send it to a chip that says okay take all the signals from all of those little tiny silicon spots and there is bazillions of them and it says make you see what it turns out to be in the pattern of colors and that's how Rod did his and that's how Fabian had did, did theirs his I don't do this stuff that's not my realm that's not my department my department is why did it do it how did it do that what is the little bits and pieces that he's looking at how do they fit together how do they glue together why do they interact why do they glow why do they not glow that's where I live now, something you want to understand is I showed you the information on how technically we can see these light particles. Rod didn't do this in 10 minutes. He, we were working on this years and years and years. Now, that's the particle just before it concusses and separates. And as far as I'm concerned, these are the particles. You tell me how they got there if that isn't light. We're looking at light. We're looking at photons. We're looking at... There's nothing else it can be. And then when that hit the, the Venturi, here it was that box particle. Here it separates. The black separates from the white. It's exactly what CERN is asking for. CERN says we want to see this. We want to see a black neutrino ball and we want to see a white shower. Done. They started out together. When they came through the Venturi, they separated. It's just the nature of them. 
it pushed the white, black one out of the mix. Here's when they were coming in, and the leading white ball concusses and vibrates and shakes and spins, and that's what they say. And then, then they see, they call this a muon. I, I have issues to, 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 to debate. With, CERN, with uh, well, all of them, CERN, Fermi Lab, all of them. I have new information they don't have. They don't have this information. So, and, and I'm serious. I don't care what they say. If they want to talk, let's talk. But they're not seeing it. I can see particles, both of them interacting at the same time. I see how much the green can push the red away. There's a lot I have to offer here, but not having a voice makes it pretty tough. And this is the concussiveness of the these are Higgs fields coming at us. This picture was derived on an impactful picture that Rod took. This is what Fabian did the, uh, hold on, this is Higgs on the move. Boom. This is what he's looking at. These are coming at us. And he's showing these interactions of the energy values and sort of making them into, I don't know how he did it, but uh, I mean, he didn't po paint those things in there. They, they're there. Those little dots are there. And whatever, whatever he's got can see him better than we can. Huh. That's all I can tell you. It's time to look at this and, and just not dismiss it. It's just totally dismissed. Ah, the guy's crazy. The guy's crazy. He's insane. Leave him alone. Just to forget him. Everybody stay away from him. And that's what they did. So that's what happens. They walk around in circles and spend a lot of money and waste a lot of time. We could spend the money. I don't have a problem with spending the money if we get something back for it. And I think this is where we're going to get something for it. Right now, everything they're doing is meaningless because they don't even understand. They don't even understand that the vacuum of space is not a vacuum. Where do you think these particles came from? I showed you the particles. They're light. They're coming to us. They're smashing into our upper atmosphere. 2,700 degrees out there, 80 on the surface. How did it get 2,700 degrees out there? It's because we're scrubbing those particles, crushing our atmosphere. They don't even understand that. They think it's, it's a blanket of CO2 making us warm. No, it's we're expanding out to push and we're scrubbing through it, we're rubbing, creating our magnetic fields and all of the magnetic interaction, our atmosphere, our tornadoes and all that stuff is a direct reaction of scrubbing our particles in our atmosphere against the particles that are trying to crush us. Not even that is understood. I want some debate. I want some discussion. Okay, another extremely bold and arrogant statement. I sent all my information off in 2016, 2015 to everybody, everywhere. CERN, Johnson Space Center, I think even these people here. I sent to the MIT, to Fermi Lab, to all of them. And uh, now in 2018, I said, step aside, CERN. There's a cheaper way to break off of physics. And this is exactly what we're doing. They're using little lasers. And um, this guy is saying that... You know, and I sent this to him, too. Uh, but anyway, it's tabletop little lasers doing the same things we're doing. And um, see, the researchers, long associated with high energy physics, are starting to look at low energy exper experiments for glimpses beyond the standard model. That's exactly what, exactly what I showed you. And it says they can't, can't account for all this dark matter. I can. With my model, I can easily account for it. They fill in all of the voids. They're talking about squashed spheres. Exactly what I'm showing. So I think it's time to pay attention to the um, electron flood model. It blows away the standard model. The standard model everybody knows is wrong. And they just didn't know what to do about it. Higgs boson, I can have those coming out of my earlobes. Uh, you know, and then it's just standard. It's nothing about dark matter. I just showed you dark matter. So I'm going to go on from here and, you know, ridiculous accuracy. <laughs> I like to call the standard model the great triumph and the great frustration of modern physics. It just doesn't work. I knew it didn't work. But once they say this is the model, you have to fit it in, everybody starts making these little doodles into figuring out how this would overlap with that and this would hang on to that and all this nonsense. He says, on the other hand, he says, it lets physicists predict some quantities to ridiculous accuracy. No, no, they ridiculous. They, 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 those are the doodles they make that 
that if they doodle enough, they can make it come out right. On the other hand, we have a hole we can drive the universe through because they don't even understand what makes up the nucleus. I have no clue. It's not quarks and leptons and all that. It's electrons. And I showed that too.